guys may not know have, uh, that you are originally from Argentina and that you are very passionate about Latinos and they are. Tell us a little bit about Labyrinth Theater Company and how, how did it get started? Well, there was a play called Death and the Maiden, a Chilean play by, um, oh my God, Ariel Dorfman. Again, about what was happening in Chile, parallel to what was happening in Argentina with Pinochet, people being tortured. And um, there's three people in the play, and they did it on Broadway. They cast no Latinos in it. And there was an uproar in the Latino community. And the casting director who cast it came out, and she said, look, we didn't know where to find Latinos. So John Ortiz and Gary Perez and other people who were hanging out at Intar, which is a Spanish theater company, said, we are going to make a home. We're going to make a community. We're going to form a community where you will know where to come find us. And that was incredibly important to establish a space, to establish a place that's like, come, come to this place, play with us, help each other. You know, we, we formed a community which is like the birth of everything, I think. A family, you know, where, as, especially as actors, we're so competitive with each other, and it's like, oh, there's not enough to go around. And what we made when we made a community was this feeling of like, we're going to make something together. There's going to be enough for all of us, more than enough. And I have a part for you. I'm going to write a part for you. And I'm going to direct your story. And why don't you design my play? We're going to make something about the stories that we have to tell. It's not about competing for the, the few stories that are being told by people who don't really know who we are. We're going to tell our own stories. So that was pretty important. Labyrinth started as like an actor's gym. We were all in our 20s. We'd meet in this crappy little theater that Intar gave us. And we would just get together and write, read our journal entries. We would, we would do things that inspired us. That we, you know, because it's hard to be an actor. You're alone. You're waiting for the phone to ring. You feel isolated. You feel like... You're too ugly, you're too fat, you're too whatever. And this was a place where we could come together and get our juices flowing and feel strength by being together and go, hey, you know what? I had an audition. I'm not right for it, but you should go in for this. Or, you know, helping each other as opposed to all being against each other, you know? And also becoming friends, sharing our lives, you know? I mean, for me, it was like I loved being around people who I felt I had a common experience with in terms of, you know, where I grew up, um, I didn't know other Latinos. So getting to speak Spanish, getting to dance, you know, getting to, to, to eat the foods that I, that I had grown up with, you know, to, just, there's, there's just a different vibe that when I came to New York, I was like, oh, there are other Latinos that I can hang out with and there's, uh, there's a lot of joy in that for me. That's a good question. I mean, so much about what we did with Labyrinth, of forming a community, was really saying, you know, we're going to define who we are by telling our own stories. You know, what John Leguizamo did, what, you know, people who say, I'm, I don't fit into your cliched image, what you think a Latino is, because our experience is very varied. You know, we, we speak different ways, we speak Spanish and with different accents, we come in different colors, shapes, sizes, we, we come from different culinary traditions, you know, it's like the musical traditions within the Latino thing, there's, there's a lot of variation. So, um, I, my advice would be tell your story, because when you do that, you realize how universal that can be, how it touches people, um, as opposed to thinking that you have to be some image that someone else wants. Be, be yourself, you know? Um, and tell your own story.